Brooklyn Independent Television. 2010 is right around the corner and we decided to take to the streets to find out what kinds of resolutions and goals Brooklynites are making for the new year. My new year's resolution is to do better in school and to try to help the environment and stuff like that. Get a job. Continue being a vegan. New year's resolution? Mm, lose weight. What are your goals or what's your new year's resolution for 2010? Get paid. To stay alive, stay alive and, uh, and stay with my family. For me it's just to have a better year than last, that's it. You might have seen the arrows on sidewalks around downtown Brooklyn directing you to the subway and several area cultural venues. Tati Amara takes a tour and finds out just where those arrows lead. We all know downtown Brooklyn and Fort Greene are destination neighborhoods now. People are coming in from all over. It's really become a mecca for cultural activity in New York City. But this wasn't always the case. There were problems with crime and grime, but that's now all changed. The pedestrian traffic has increased by leaps and bounds. So BAM's director of design, Clara Cornelius, in collaboration with the DOT, created the Wayfinder Project, meant to, well, help people find their way. The signs right here? Uh, to be perfectly honest, I just walked right over them. <laughs> I didn't even notice them, yeah. Okay, most people anyway. As a matter of fact, especially for those who, um, who just get lost naturally, right. <laughs> all you have to do is follow the arrows, right. and it'll lead you right to BAM. Now, I know this area like the back of my hand, so I thought they were a cute addition to the neighborhood, but they serve a real need. It's unbelievable how many people come down here and may not know where one location or another is. And so there's a great need for uh, signage, directions. So the whole point of the decals is to help pedestrians coming in at the Atlantic Avenue train station hub to easily find their way to different cultural organizations in the neighborhood. Eight to be exact, and they even have one for brick. Brooklyn Review Headquarters. So I found out what Brooklynites think. What do you think? About the signs? Yes. I think that they're good for tourists because a lot of times they don't know what to do and they feel funny asking people at times they don't know who to ask. Because right. this all, is Brooklyn, they might be a little nervous. Yeah, you know how we are. Okay. If you're going you there? I, I guess, yeah, I guess I would. Yeah, why wouldn't or I? does she just come and meet you so you don't need them? <laughs> no, no, it's half and half. Half and half? Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty bad when it comes to the city so this would probably help me out. I've been working downtown Brooklyn for many years and a lot of people down here get lost and they don't know where to go, you know, especially for BAM. I think this is a great thing to, so people are wandering around. So all in all then ladies, what do you think about these decals? I love I, the fact that you can finally see where, oh, this is the, the central hub for the culture of Brooklyn. Yay! Go Brooklyn! Go <laughs> Brooklyn! Brooklyn in the house! <laughs> That's awesome. I think they're great. The Metrotech bid, along with the DOT, will be rolling out permanent signs late spring 2010. And I'm thinking those will be just as popular. In Fort Greene, for Brooklyn Review, I'm Tati Amara. Brooklyn Independent Television, on the BCAT TV Network.